All right, so check it out. Uh, Whataburger has thrown their hat into the fish sandwich ring. In this bag, we have their brand new What A Catch. I love the name. The What A Catch uh, fish sandwich. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so we're getting another uh, fish sandwich review. Uh, we know what uh, time of the year it is, uh, Lent, and it brings out all of these fish sandwiches from all of these uh, fast food spots. I've already done Arby's, uh, two from Arby's, did uh, Culver's. Uh, what else did I do? I think I did one more, uh, and I actually revisited the filet of fish with Kathy. You probably saw that video yesterday. I apologize, because uh, let me tell you, that was a, a screen recording off of an Instagram uh, phone call, or uh, should I say video call, and no matter what I did in the editing process in Sony Vegas, the uh, speed of the uh, voice to the uh, sound uh, to the video, it just wasn't going to work. Uh, so I did the best I could. I threw it up there. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, but today, we are visiting Whataburger for the What A Catch check it out right there and I think uh, a lot of people especially in Texas say uh, Wada is it Wada burger is that the way they pronounce it I pronounce it Wada burger I think Wada burger Wada burger is the way a lot of people pronounce it I'm gonna tell you this four dollars and 79 cents this is a hefty 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 sandwich so let's unwrap it you're seeing it for the first time uh, with me um, so right off the bat, I see a tomato peeking off the side. I ordered this without tomato, and I actually added pickles. So we're gonna see if they added the pickles. I ordered a head because they are known to be busy, and we pulled up and they weren't busy, uh, so I went in and still had to wait like 10 minutes. It was a debacle, but that is a really nice size. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna get the pickles that I wanted. Check out the sandwich right there. Do you see pickles? You're gonna have to tell me. I'm gonna open up the top in a minute. Comes with lettuce, comes with uh, tartar sauce, and uh, no uh, cheese. Um, I wanted to get this as close as to the uh, others that I've reviewed with pickles. Um, and now I'm not even gonna get pickles. And I just, and I'm getting three slices of the uh, tomato. I'm taking the tomato off. If you like tomato, whatever rating I give this sandwich, you're going to probably like it some more. Um, I'm just disappointed that these places, like I'm, it's like every other place I go screws up the order and I wasn't gonna unwrap the uh, sandwich before I left and be like, oh, you make sure, I mean, come on. I, I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, so there we go. So let's put this back on. The pickles are off. Uh, let me get everything situated. We're gonna take a bite. It looks, um, I don't know. It looks like it's a decent size. We're really going to dive into the sandwich. Dive into fish sandwich, water. All right, that All right, that joke didn't land. Uh, let me get situated and we'll take a bite. All right, so um, I got it situated. Let me get you one more look. Uh, this is what we got going on. So it's lettuce, tartar sauce, and a very big piece of uh, fish. Very reminiscent of a more uh, chopped up fish. I believe uh, from what Kathy Two Cent Chick Fame told me, it's Alaskan Pollock. Uh, she said to me, she's like, if it doesn't tell you the name, it's Alaskan Pollock. So I think that's what she's going by. All right, so wish me luck. I uh, was hoping to have the pickles, uh, but I took the tomatoes off. So everything is good with the what a catch. What a catch. Let's take a bite. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. I have some thoughts. All right, so I have some thoughts. I'm going to break a piece of the fish off. I'm going to taste the fish by itself. Let me get you a look. 
It does seem a little more uh, filleted than a fillet of fish. Definitely not as processed as I thought by looking at the outside. Uh, give me a second or two. All right, so I'm going to say this. Um, after one bite and then taking a couple bites of the fish by itself, uh, this is not one of my top uh, tasting fish sandwiches. Now, for $4.79, the size of this is uh, perfect. It's going to beat a lot of those out there uh, that I've already tried. Uh, but the flavor, it is lacking flavor. I think the coating on the outside has a nice crisp to it, uh, but it's very bland. Uh, and I get it, white fish is bland. You gotta do some things to it. I think they just needed to do a little bit more to the outer coating of this, especially when I don't have the pickles that I ordered to give me a little extra flavor. And you're not putting a lot of tartar sauce on here. And I should have gotten a side of tartar sauce, uh, but check it out, there you go. That's what we're looking at with the uh, top bun off of the sandwich. And yeah, it kind of even doesn't get to the edge here. So I think the bun is even making this um, filet seem to be uh, bigger than it actually is. Um, yeah, actually, now that I look at it, <laughs> it's a little ghetto boys right there. The uh, mind playing tricks on me, that minus the one bite is the size of the filet on this huge bun. So I'm glad I actually took the top bun off because that ends right about here and that's okay let's just finish this review second bite okay one more look All right, so, wow. They duped me. They duped me with the size of that bun. Now, there was an option on the app that you can actually get a brioche bun, so I wonder if that one's going to be smaller. I'm pretty sure that's going to be smaller uh, because all of you uh, Whataburger, Whataburger uh, aficionados out there, uh, you can let me know. Uh, I think the bun that came with this and most of the burgers says like extra large or large bun, and then you can actually switch the bun or get the uh, Texas toast. Uh, so I could have got brioche uh, bun with that. I think it probably would have worked out better, uh, but let me tell you. 479 off the bat, I thought it was a larger sandwich. Uh, the flavor was lacking. Uh, they didn't get the uh, order correct and um, not enough tartar sauce. So um, where am I going with this uh, score? On a scale of one to 100 with one meaning, don't even waste your money. And 100 being the promised land of. I'm going to give the What A Catch fish sandwich from Whataburger a rating of. Um, I'm going to give it a 62. I'm going to give it a 62. The lack of taste is really what's uh, getting that number down there. I'm going to try not to let it affect me that I got the order wrong, but it needed more flavor. So I wish the pickles were on there. That could have definitely helped the score. Um, and if you like tomatoes, uh, you're going to probably like it uh, better than I did. Uh, just picture the flavor of tomatoes on there. Uh, I don't want to. I just sometimes I keep them on sometimes I take them off uh it is what it is but um all right there you go another review in the books please like comment share and subscribe also please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter that is social media getting the word on my channel out to the masses in closing what a catch is this the first time that uh, Whataburger has jumped into the fish uh, sandwich market? Probably not. I didn't go uh, and take a look at that. So light up the comments uh, if you are a, uh, like I said, a Whataburger uh, aficionado. Let me know if they have uh, sold fish before. You can also get the fish in a meal where I think you get two fish fillets and some fries, something like that. Uh, the What A Catch meal. <laughs> I'm not going to say What A Catch. If I got this on my line, it might have to be thrown back. I wasn't loving it. Sorry, what a burger. Sorry, what a burger. Um, all right, there you go. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews.